Man, today, 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 man, today is a good day, man. I always say I got special, man, special guests, but this is really special, as the youngest say in all caps, right? Yeah. Tony Lewis, <laughs> see you, man. My man, Kirk my home, man, man. man. Welcome home, home man. Welcome Thanks, home, man. man. God so damn, happy, man. man. So good to see you, man, and just to see the things, the positive things that you. Uh, I'm very impressed, man. You right. know, I'm very proud. Right. You know, I remember our days back in, <laughs> right. you know, in the '80s, man, and the criminal lifestyle, man. But to see what you're doing now, right? You know, the positive things, man, and the, the legal things. Right. So yeah. I'm, I'm really impressed and proud, man. Yeah. And I'm, and I appreciate it's that. It's an honor that. to be here with you, man. Right. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look, it's an honor to have you, man, and, and I appreciate you. Allow the opportunity because I know you're all over people pulling and tugging. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and I yeah. and, and look, I get it. I already know we you know we gonna sit down. It was gonna happen. Yeah. You no know what I'm question. saying, man? But like you say, even back you say in those times, it was still guys like yourself was one of the guys that even in a uh, criminal life you still was somebody who somebody could mimic. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like small little Appreciate small it. shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. how you dress, how you talk to people. You know what I'm saying? One small thing, we're going to get into a little bit of stuff, but one uh -huh. small thing on the breaker here, I actually remember, I shared with your son, you used to be reading newspapers shit. We might be chilling, so you were the paper to read the newspaper, right? <laughs> and I'm like to myself, like, hey, this nigga, he read newspapers all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. it was just something that, you know, to mimic, man. But, yeah. but man, let's get to it, man. Uh -huh. First of all, man, welcome home. Thanks, man. Appreciate uh, it. How I feel, man? Oh, I feel so wonderful, man. So wonderful. I, uh man, I really didn't think at some points, you know, we're right. being denied, 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 denied what whether this was gonna happen. Right. But I knew my son, Tony Lewis Jr., was right. always fighting for me, man. Right. And um I'm so proud of him, man. Uh, right. I mean, not just fighting for me, but right. for the for, for for all incarcerated people, right. you know, right. and, and returning citizens and the right. family, the kids of returning citizens, right. just as he was for so long, mm -hmm. you know, and uh so that that always motivated me, man, to keep the hope alive, man. And uh, mm -hmm. so you right, know, you right, know. yeah. And it's crazy, like you say, show, uh, you know, Junior, man. He fought like you already know. So I only got regurgitated, yeah, but man. it was crazy that a lot of times he fight. He's he's making statements like he'll say he'll fight and put everything out. He say, well, don't misconstrue. I'm not saying he ain't supposed to go to jail exactly. for whatever he did. Exactly. I'm just saying he ain't supposed to go for life. For life. Right? Exactly. So and and that was big, man. And even in looking down the barrels, he was looking at man. But like I say, and when we started this uh this journey right here, this is our year first year anniversary, man. We oh, started okay. off what what you know, slug, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, Junior right. first, yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, man, it, it only made sense, man, to come all the way back to the anniversary and yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? What a, what a, yeah, and, and you here, here, man. You yeah, here, man. man. Hey, let me ask you, man, because Tony talked about, I never got a chance when we was young to know nothing about your family structure. But right. since you've been gone, your son mentioned a lot about your grandmother. Well, I'm assuming that's your mom or his mother mom. I'm not sure. He always say the grandmother house. Right. Well, yeah. he has, well, two, my, my mother's grandmother right, and right. his mother, you know, right. grandmother. That's who tell really me, raised him. Tell me um, something about her, man, because she seemed to be a strong lady based on how he always mentioned Mr. her. Mr. Bella Hinton. Yeah. Mr. Bella, yeah, wonderful lady. Uh. I love her so dearly, man. Right. I, uh, she always was so nice to me uh, when his mom, his mom and I, mm -hmm. uh, you know, were boyfriend and girlfriends, and she mm -hmm. wanted to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. And you know, she like, um, we got to tell my mother, right? <laughs> right. And I'm like, we, I'm like, we. <laughs> right. I, right. Nice to see, you know, her mother right. from time to time, you know, because right. uh, she had a, uh, her son Gregory was always, you know. All her boys was in trouble all through life, right. but Gregory you always used to go to prison. Right. And she stuck with him every weekend. She was going to Bluesburg on hitting right. that road, oh, yeah. to put yeah. that Lincoln on the road to yeah. see him. And yeah. I always used to see her come through, and I respected that. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, not just that, but just how a good parent she was to all her kids. Right. You know? And then with you know with my incarceration, she really uh, stepped up to to my son, his grandma, and you know just everything. Right. Right? So yeah. I always and I can always. Call Mr. Bellis. He always would give me encouragement. I'm praying for you. I hope you, you know, get home. And right. Yeah, just everything, man. It's right. a wonderful, strong uh, woman, man. Um, wonderful mm. mother. Okay, yeah, that's big. I, I had a yeah. fair. I just want to get your perspective because he talked about it a lot. Right, Man, right. like I knew it, right? But they all, we, I knew about you. Got off, you got off the porch early, man. You got yeah. off the porch. I, I, knew, I, I mean, like, you know, you talking, what, 14, 15? 14, 15. 14, yeah. 15. Yeah. Give us a little bit about Tony pre-14. I mean, what, yeah. I mean, what, what yeah, you I was, doing? Uh, you know, I was going to school, man. Um, mm -hmm. You know, um, 
you know, tra- trying to navigate the, mm-hmm. the, the neighborhood, just mm-hmm. being, you know, coming from a single mm-hmm. parent household. Mm-hmm. My mother, uh, Louise Wright, mm-hmm. uh, she she did the best she could mm-hmm. with what she had to work with. Um, a good mother. Uh, and, you know, she, I used to watch her struggle, you right. know, with the bills and right. us being on public assistance and, um, you know, living on Hanover Place, man. But I, I still, I try to go to school. I try to do all the right things. Right. But right. the poverty and just seeing your mother struggle and your family struggle, mm-hmm. it took me off of that course. Right. And I had to, you know, right. do what I had to do. Right. Because you know, I, I know, yeah, when I was young, I know um, Hanover had a... Reputation for getting money, but they also had reputation for mess with them banks, right? Right. So that's I was saying, so yeah. I was saying, you ain't never get in the bank car. No, you you stay with yeah, what's name, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My son, uncles, and yeah, right. And yeah. Them, that was there. Cornell Jones. Yeah. Yeah. That was thing, yeah. You know. Yeah. Before yeah. The, the drug thing, but yeah, the banks. I, yeah. I never, yeah. Rest in peace, boo, man. That was that was yeah, my that, yeah, that man, was my man right there, man. That was my man, man. Yeah, that was my man, man. Man, rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. So the so the so the legendary great Cornell Jones man, how did y'all relationship develop? Oh man, Cornell was always uh, somebody I looked up to, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, good man, a good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I always looked up to him. He uh, was always giving, man. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Always getting money. You right, know what I'm saying? right, and, right. You know, right. he ain't make no you know excuses about that. He the right. criminal life was his life. You right, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And um, like I said, it was somebody that I looked up to, man. And you know, a lot of people respected him highly. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was also a businessman, you know, mm-hmm, always mm-hmm. had a plan with some type of businessman mm-hmm. that he was always. And I just, so all those things just fascinated me right. and it said to me, that's that's the blueprint right there, right. If, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right. yeah, y'all, y'all had it. When I was young, I remember, man, they used to be like, man, Cornell here, Purnell here, dog. Uh-huh. Tony got the house. Uh, yeah. Shutter, so they was like, it's going like it was pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knew their right. position where right. they was. You know what I'm saying? It was right. pretty organized. And it was like a, it, was, it was really a movie before a movie. And it's so crazy because like I like obviously I've been on here and and I've been on a lot of these circuits interview and all that. And I always tell them I always say when your name come up, I was like Slim was a monument before he even that the relationship developed. You know what I'm saying? Right. On right. the right. racial case. You oh know yeah, saying? no question. So a lot of people. Don't know the people don't, don't know, know the story, don't right? Know. And I be t- I be tell I say, man, right. when he came over there. It was really, and I remember the story like yesterday. Cause I said, I say, Ray, how you on Tony? You get cool. He's always say, man. When I used to go to school, he say he used to be watching you. Say you fly, yeah, such and such, right? So he's always someone he best dressed in Dunbar. He said if you would have if you would have finished, you probably would have got the best dress or, <laughs> or went there, right? Yeah. So he always always a fascination there, right? But I right. was just like, but. Your name always was, you know, prominent, man. You know, even yeah. though it was illegal at that time right, as kids. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, man? But um, you know, it was just it was amazing for people to know that story, man. So the handover joint, man, what what's what you gonna do? I mean, you gonna go back, you gonna bring it on the screen. I mean, what you gonna do the handover yeah, I, joint? I, hope, that, 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 I would like to, you know, me and my son would like to bring it to the screen. Right, man, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, a whole story that I mean, it makes this the rape of conspiracy that that's yeah, that's right. nothing compared to right. what you know, Hanover, right? Cornell Jones and me, and and you know a few other. Yeah, man, that's right. Where, right, yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. So we hope to uh, some type of way bring that to the screen in the mm-hmm. near future. Right, yeah, yeah. And yeah. we, you know, we know we we never glorify right, what yeah, we, no. you know, selling mm-hmm. drugs mm-hmm. and the things that we did. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I paid the price for that. Right, Thirty four yeah. years of my life. Right, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I paid right, the price yeah. for that. And I'm still not glorifying it. Um, mm-hmm. you know, I mm-hmm. apologize to all the people watching in DC that. Mm-hmm. That got affected by the drugs that I was selling. Right. Um. You know, not, a lot of people had addictions or caught addictions with. Mm-hmm. You know, um. It wasn't just me though. You know, right. it was it was it was the culture there. Right. But I take responsibility for my part right. and apologize to all the people watching in DC. Right. Um. So you know, any young people that's looking at when watch the program and everything, you know, we just telling some of the history. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And. Uh, we mm-hmm. paid a stiff price for that shit. You went to prison. I went to prison, right, and right. we paid a price, a heavy price for mm-hmm. for, for for breaking the law. Right, and, yeah. Uh, it, yeah. Crime don't pay. You know. That's yeah. why I'm just so happy to see what you have created, man. Right, the, yeah. the legal thing, man. Right, the yeah. Businessman yeah. thing. The yeah. Kirk Bone, the business, and yeah. I love it. I was hearing about you in prison. I said, "That's right. my man, man." Right, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I respect you, man. And right, yeah. I was saying, telling you out there, even when we, when you was, you know, the young man that you were. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you that close at first. I mm. know because you know Ray yeah. and you, but that was your man, and right. um, you know. But I 
observe and I watch. I seen your work ethic, mm-hmm. even though it was in the right, legality right, shit. But right. hey, man, you got to be good at what you do. Right, yeah, it's legal yeah. or, or illegal. Yeah. And compared to a lot of the other young guys mm-hmm. that were a part of the thing or was in that era, mm-hmm. you stood out to me because everything was business with you right, yeah. the way it's supposed to right, be. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? It was business. Right. It was never no problems about you know, your money short or mm. you ain't moving the product or right. you ain't, you know what I'm saying? Your shit was tight. Right, and yeah. to be as young as you was to be moving like that, it mm-hmm. was, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. you got my attention. And I, yeah, 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 definitely, yeah, definitely, so, man. Like I say, yeah. and, I, and I tell people when we talk about go back in the earth, like sometimes it's hard to speak on it without a sound like glorification right. because the level that it was on, yeah, right? Yeah. But it is like, but like I tell people, man, you, it's still jewels to be learned through it. Uh, it's still storylines, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, even like your redemption story, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're on your son. That's a love story. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's like, for real, I remember like, yes, and I used to mess with, uh, with Slug, man. And y'all, he used to pull her hand over. His mother's to bring him. And he uh-huh. said, they open the door. They'd be about eight cars a day. Go, Pew! <laughs> run down into you, run to your yeah. legs, right? Yeah, and all I remember, that, right? I remember so it's like, man, so and, much, and just man. to see him fighting and clawing, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just consistently... Consistently, yeah, he never gave up on that. He, he never, never gave did, up, man. and still yeah. had a job and occupation where he fighting for other for dudes. Others. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? He fighting for other dudes. Yeah, right. People think that the fight concerning me was just about me, but right. it wasn't, man. Right. It was about the hundred to one ratio with with sentencing on the crack cocaine. Right. It was about the mandatory minimums, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, for drugs. Mm-hmm. And and now it's about us pleading to President Biden, even though I'm home, mm-hmm. President Biden needs to do, to right some of his wrongs. He was an architect of the 100 to 1 ratio. Mm-hmm. He's an architect when he was in the Senate uh, with the mandatory minimums. Right. And right. it's still a lot of men, mm-hmm. men of color, that's still in prison serving these long terms because of that crime bill that he had put together. Mm-hmm. And okay, I know we got a divided Congress. Mm-hmm. I know the Republicans trying to play this hard on crime all of a sudden, mm-hmm. you know. But you got the power to pin. You don't need Congress. You don't need the Republicans. Mm-hmm. You got the power to pin. And you should do four or five times the amount of computations or pardons that Obama did. Mm-hmm. Four or five, because Obama was an architect of these laws that's getting a, a mm-hmm. lot of people, and he did mm-hmm. a, a, a fair amount, mm-hmm. even though he denied me, but that's all good. Right. But yeah, right. Biden, you need to right these wrongs, man. Uh, I'm going to keep speaking about it. My right. son will keep speaking about it, man, right. because there's a lot of good men, man, that's still serving these long sentences for these unjust uh yeah. Uh, ratios and, and these uh, and these laws, man. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Out the park, niggas know me. Curb on, little homie. All days, all days. Yeah. Been a road, been a road. Yeah. Thank you for watching Changing Jewels on Kirkbone TV. If you like the jewels that we are dropping, subscribe, hit the notification, and share with some friends. And I see you on the next episode of Changing Jewels, Kirkbone TV.